Hey y'all, what's up? Today I've got a booty workout for you. This is an express workout. I've had some requests for to do some shorter workouts. This is going to get just straight into those glutes in a very short amount of time. This will also be a great workout to do as a glute activation. So kind of like another core activation that I've recently shot and uploaded, it's gonna be the same for the glutes. So it's great to start with before you get into your workout so that you feel even more deeply connected to those muscles throughout your other workouts. So let's hit it. Okay, we're gonna drop it down to the floor. You're gonna come onto an all fours position right here to start this workout. I'll be mirroring everything for you through the TV screen. So right here, start with your knees slightly together, soften to the elbows. We're gonna hydrant side. Side, so we're just lifting that knee. I want you to exhale, breathe every time you lift the knee. Squeeze, lift, hop. Now we're gonna take a knee circle. It goes out and around, out and around. Imagine like you have a marker on your knee. You're just drawing a circle. Keep it constantly in motion, nice and fluid. Reverse that circle, back and around. Now you might already be feeling the glute fire up here on this side, okay? We're gonna keep it moving for four. We're activating, activating that ass. <laughs> right here, we're gonna press it back. Lift. I want you to flex your foot. Keep your hips and shoulders square to the floor. Four more, let's go. Three, two. Hold it at the top right here. A little bitty pulse. Just squeeze, squeeze. Think about pressing that heel to the ceiling. Little pulses. Good, this is eight. Six, four, three, two, lower down. Little shake, side to side. We're gonna switch, other leg. Four, three, two, hydrant side. Go lift, lift. Just focus on lifting from that knee, y'all. Exhale, squeeze. We're gonna give this side just as much love. Going into those circles, around. Round. Beautiful. Four more. Let's go. Three, two, reverse that circle. Back and around. So good. Four, three. Now, donkey kick to the back. Let's lift. Flex your foot here, power through that heel. Four, three, two. Hold it up at the top right here. Little bitty pulses, just push. Drive through that heel, press it to the ceiling. Good, keep lifting, let's go. Eight more, come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, lower down, knees open out, press back, child's pose. Good, we're gonna shift it forward, take it into that plank, right here. Plank, 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 feet are hip width apart, soft bend to your elbows, lift up from your core. Now we're gonna start with single leg lift right here, staying in the glutes and also in the abs. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. That's it, squeeze. Come on, squeeze. Just lift. You don't have to go super high with the leg. You are automatically working that glute anytime that foot picks itself up off the floor. Squeeze. Stay with me, squeeze. Yes, you're almost there, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down, press back, stretch it out. Okay, what we're gonna do next is lay over onto our side. You're going to stack your knees and feet on top of one another. Look down and make sure that your heels are in line with your butt, your knees are in front of you. Elbow is in line with your hip. You're going to reach your top arm up, lift the hips, reach the leg, lift the hips. Now what I didn't tell you about this workout, I said it was booty, but guess what? I'm giving you a two for one deal. We're also sneaking in some core. 
Okay, so we're working the abs and the ass. Yes, hold it out right here. We're gonna swing front, side, lift, front, side, lift, reach, side, lift. Keep that leg just at hip height level. Okay, we're working in that parallel position so it doesn't have to go super high. Reach. Now right here we're gonna circle. Little circles, baby circles. So now the marker is on your big toe. You draw that circle to the side. Reverse it, up and back. Awesome. For four, three, we're gonna take that from the top. Stack the feet. Up and reach. Toe stays pointed and reach. Use your oblique and you're using your glute, your opposite glute to lift up off that floor. Good, four more, let's go, lift and reach. Two more. Good, now hold that leg out right here, swing it. Front, side, lift, front, side, lift. Ooh, you're starting to feel that glute work like crazy, I know. Keep that leg lifting, don't let it drop. Swing, and side, lift. Two more, up. One more. Hold it side, little circles. Keep it small. Now I'm gonna challenge you in this next part. Watch for this transition. Reverse that circle, up and back. All I'm gonna do is flip over onto my knee that's down. I go here, I lift my leg up. It's an arabesque. Opposite elbow is down on the ground. We're gonna lower and lift. Down, up. There we go, I know we just flipped right into it. We're still staying in that glute on this side. So you're gonna be feeling that really work, okay? The intensity of the squeeze in the glute is gonna keep going. It may seem like it's getting a little bit harder, but when you keep that leg lifting, every rep counts. Hold it up, little pulse, up, up. This is gonna help to tighten, to lift that muscle. Keep reaching, let's go. Eight, six, four, three. Now just hold it at the top, hold. Find that length, try to lift it just a little bit higher. Ooh, four, three, two, one, lower down. So good, we're gonna swing the legs around, get right into that other side. Right here, it goes hip lift, leg reach, hip lift, leg reach. Now this second side is gonna feel a little bit more challenging because we've already worked that first side and you still have to use that same glute here for that lift and reach. Woo! That's it, two more, let's go. Obliques. And reach, lift up from here. Good, hold the leg there, let's swing it, pointed toe. Side, lift, swing. Side, lift. Keep it in line with your hip. Do not go high with that leg, it's working in that parallel position, so it stays nice and low, it's just skimming the floor. Reach, side, lift. Continue to breathe, I know, two more, reach. Side. Now we're gonna go into those circles right here. Little circle, up and around. Remember the marker is on the big toe. So you keep it pointed, keep that circle going. Reverse it here, up and over. Four, three, from the top. Bring it in, hip lift, leg reach. Remember you're stretching that leg straight to the side so it's ex extension from your hip. We're mimicking a lot of side plank right here. This is where we sneak in that core work with the glutes. Hop, reach. Good, two more. Hop, reach. Now hold this one out right here. We're gonna take that swing to the front, to the side, lift, swing, side, lift. Woo, getting a little butt cramp here. <laughs> it's working, y'all, it's working. <laughs> Four more, 
swing and reach. Woo. Swing. Remember, every rep counts. This is where we build that strength. Swing and reach. Lift one more. Swing and reach. Little circles up and over, up and over. Keep it small right here. Breathe. So good. We're going to reverse that circle. Go. This is four, three, watch for that transition. Take it over, lift that leg, set it up first. Draw your abs in, tap, lift, tap, lift. Oh, we forgot that we had this on this side, huh? I know, it just keeps getting better. We gotta do those even amounts on each side so we get it nice and even in both glutes. Here, squeeze. Good, four more, let's go, up, three, Two, hold it up right here. Let's pulse, little lift. Remember it's in that arabesque position, turn out from the hip, little squeeze. Keep drawing in from your abs. Remember this is abs and ass. Right here, keep lifting. Let's go for four, three, two. Hold it here, hold. Woo, leg is shaking, glutes are shaking. Lift it higher, four, three, two. One lower down, hold. Oh, press back, stretch it out, child's pose. Now what we're gonna do here is take our legs through. We're gonna lay over onto our back. You're going to lift your hips into a glute bridge. Your booty is up off of that floor. There is space in between. We're gonna start with the knee march right here. Let's go. Knee in, knee in. I know. We're trying to get the most out of this workout as we can in a short amount of time. Again, this is working your glutes. Your hamstrings are working here and you're also pulling in from those lower abs. Exhale, breathe every time you bring that knee in for that march. Now, hold it center right here. Let's pulse, lift the hips. Up, up. Party on top. Yes, glutes are fired up. Let's go, pulse. Now check this out. We're gonna slide just one heel out so it goes. Heel slide, heel slide, heel slide. Woo, those are challenging. Keep it reaching. Three, two, one. Hold it here, pulse it up, uplift. Squeeze those cheeks as hard as you can. The more intensity you can put into that back side, the tighter, the more toned they will get. Hold it right here, knees go in and out, in, out. Let those knees tap as they come in. We're now bringing inner thighs, squeeze. For four, three, two, one, hold it here. Hold, find that isometric hold, I know. So fired up. Stay with me, stay with me, breathe. Lift it up just a little bit higher. Four, three, two, one. Good, slowly lower down. Oh, pull both knees into your chest. Rock it side to side. I'm gonna give you a stretch for those glutes right here. So very quickly, figure four. Woo, you feel that? It's gonna stretch right here across the hips and the glutes. Beautiful, we're gonna switch to the other side. Take that figure four. Oh. Sound effects necessary <laughs> as we take that stretch. Woohoo! Good. Pull both knees into your chest. Just rock it side to side. Massage that low back into the floor. Good. Go ahead and rock yourselves up. Woo! That was two of my favorite things. Y'all know abs and ass. Enjoy doing that one, like I said, at your pre workout. So, like, it's a great thing to use this video pre-workout into before you get into taking the dance and tone classes or the bar sculpt or even some of our express workouts. If you feel like sometimes you're not feeling those muscle groups fire properly in your core and in your glutes, then I totally suggest that you start with these short 10 minute glute activation, core activation workouts so that you really get the most out of it and you start to really see those results physically and feel them in your body. Let me know if you liked this video, comment below. I love hearing your feedback. I'll see you in another workout.